Hey everyone, welcome back to the B-Movie Bunker, continuing our 31 Days of Horror with a look at the 1983 film Videodrome, brought to us by David Cronenberg. Uh, we have the story of Max, who's kind of a sleazy uh, cable TV uh, guy who is trying to find the next great program that, uh, to really find the sleaziest, worst things, and what better person to play someone who's a sleazy asshole than James Woods. Um, we also have Debbie Harry in this, uh, playing kind of the love interest, and who knew she could act? Uh, she's actually pretty good in this. But this movie, wow. I mean, I think it starts off a little slow, but I think a lot of Cronenberg starts off a little slow. But once it starts going and the weird shit starts happening, it's just like, what is? what am I watching here? What's real? What's not real? What's really going on? And, and it... His movies, I need to watch this again. I, I can't believe it took me this long to actually sit down and watch the whole thing. Um, but it really needs multiple viewings. And I can tell you anything I want about this because there's no way you can really spoil this movie because you're going to still watch it and be like, what the fuck did I just watch? I could tell you word for word what happens in everything and you would watch it and be like, what? What? No way! This He's got a vagina in his stomach what's going on I don't understand what's going on is that TV breathing it's the weird imagery and stuff that you expect from a Cronenberg film although it was you couldn't really expect it back then because what had he done um, but just so much of it and, and how relevant this movie still is today it's all you know uh, pushing the limits of what is decent what is good and also what effect does media in this case it's it's TV have on people and and knowing that the message is not just as relevant, it's actually, I think, more relevant now than it was, uh, you know, 30, almost 35 years ago when this movie was made. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is, man, it's... Imagine... I don't even imagine. Think of the weirdest fucked-up dream you've ever had. Just picture that in your head. And then... magnify that. Uh, by, I don't know... A billion, and and that's kind of what you're getting with this. It's just, it's not that it's like super offensive. I mean, to some some people might find some of the subject matter and and what it goes into as kind of offensive, but I mean, it's more just weird. Like like what is actually happening and the effects, especially for this made, are just bizarre and so well done and kind of creepy and, and surreal. Surreal is the best word for this movie. Um, and, and you really should just... I mean, you've got to watch this movie. You have to check it out. Even though, as we discussed on the podcast that I was on the same evening, that James Wood is a giant asshole. Oh, my God. But David Cronenberg makes amazing mindfuck movies, and that's why you should watch this. You should watch stuff that fucks your mind because it's something different. So... Um, if you want a better thing of this, look for the spoiler room where we talked a bit more about this, especially with uh, with my friend Mark the Movie Man and Andrew Shearer, Gonzarific. Check it out. That's all I've got for this one. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.